Okay, are we live? What up, everybody? It's your favorite Asian robot, hopefully your favorite Dark Tide partner. And today, what I'm going to be showing you guys is the Trauma Staff build that I use. For me personally, the Trauma Staff still does not perform as well as the Brigade Staff or the Surge Staff. However, it has received a significant improvement in the last patch. They reduced the peril cost of the Trauma Staff, allowing you to cast multiple times without exploding. Alright? So this has been a very positive change. However, what I will state is that um, it still requires more effort than the Surge and Purge staff. Maybe I just don't use it well, all right? But if you want to know how, we, how I used it in Heresy with total randoms, meaning totally random team composition, totally random modifiers, we played it in Heresy and we actually completed missions without being a burden on the team, all right? Here's the build that I was using, okay? I'm gonna demonstrate. I'm gonna explain the build to you guys, and then showcase some of the strengths and weaknesses of the trauma staff. Quietude is my choice for the first uh, feed tier. All right, for the second one, there you can choose between psychonetics wrath and inner tranquility. However, with psychonetics wrath, uh, you still do not hit a break point. All right, it still takes about, assuming no brain burst trigger, it takes about two shots to kill an elite. If you remove Psychonetics Wrath, all right, you will see that the same principle is applied. You still roughly need two shots, fully charge, to destroy a elite in Damnation, all right? So in Heresy, there is no breakpoint being hit. But in Damnation, it is arguable that when you have this, it is scared. well, I, I would say it's guaranteed to hit twice, but sometimes if you have an unlucky hit, like you saw in the first one, because the damage is not consistent, that's the problem. You may not always get the two hit, even with Psychonetics Wrath. So, although it may make it more likely, it is still difficult to do. So, my choice is Inner Tranquility, which, when I have Warp Charges, allows for more casts. Psychic Communion, you want passive Warp Charge gain. So, no, no deviance on this one. Kinetic Deflection versus Kinetic Shield. I personally choose Kinetic Deflection every single time. Kinetic Shield has some potential with this build. I'm not going to lie. I tested both. But my personal feeling is that Kinetic Deflection does better because if you are in a panic situation, pulling out your Force Sword and being able to dodge and walk behind cover while deflecting bullets is very, very useful, especially in Damnation and Heresy. So, and with this particular style, you also want to get used to using both your Force Sword and Trauma Staff. I'll explain that a bit later, um, because it is in relation to the Bulwarks, okay? So that demonstration will come in a little while. So my choice is Kinetic Deflection, but don't feel shy of using Kinetic Shield if you feel it suits you better, okay? Kinetic Flare is my choice for the fifth tier, because it will trigger even on your Force Sword Swings, your uh, warp explosions, it triggers everywhere. So it's very useful. It may not be as useful as it is on the Brigadus staff where it triggers 24 seven. It may not be as useful even as it is on the surge staff when you go ham with your melee weapon. But for me personally, there is no better choice for this tier. Kinetic Flayer is my choice. Ascendant Blaze is my choice for the final feat. Some people like to suggest Kinetic Barrage. I don't use it anymore because I find that having to use my ability for Horde Clear is a far better choice. So this is my feet loadout, okay? Coming back to the weapon loadout, all right? You need your Force Sword with Deflector, okay? This is a necessity, you cannot change it. The other, the other uh, blessing can be anything you'd like, it's up to you. For the Trauma Force Staff, there is no necessary blessing. But what I would recommend is that you have Warp Flurry. Your other blessing, my personal suggestion, would be to have Warp Nexus, the one that increases criticals uh, when you have more peril. But it is honestly your choice. Warp Flurry is just useful because if you hit, your second charge will be a bit faster than your first one. And this can be very, very helpful. Uh, especially in tight combat situations, that has actually saved me. 
by being able to charge up and do a small burst. So one example would be if I have to do something like this, like it's not effective. It's not like hyper effective, but in, in tight board scenarios, this could be your lifesaver while you're backing up. Okay. So that is where I apply the power of warp flurry. Okay. Um, for the curios, I keep it simple. Toughness, wound, max health. I have one of each, and that has been what my psyker has been running since day one. I haven't felt the need to change it yet, so maybe someday I will, but for now, this is this has worked just fine for me. Okay, now things to be aware of before I go into the combat demonstration segment. The things that you need to be aware of with the trauma staff is that for most elites, you're going to require multiple casts of your trauma staff. So the actual style of killing elites is to first use your trauma staff, all right? Assuming they're not at it at a far distance and then swap to your four sword for the finisher All right, this is the general same style that you'd have to use now the trauma staff excels only in one thing killing crushers Because crushers take full damage from the trauma staff, which is really great You can stagger and knock them down very helpful for your team Bulwarks if you use the trauma staff in front do not take damage all right, keep that in mind, but their shield does get blown back. So assuming you're not in a panic situation, this is what I do. All right, I will hit it multiple times with my four sword special. And hopefully my teammates use that gap to also assist me with that. You will never be as good at killing bulwarks as a bolter veteran who can literally just bolter his way through, which you would see in my bolter guide video. But um, you still can do some fairly decent work. All right. For Reapers, the choice is obvious. Same thing. Same similar principle. All right. However, um, if you would like to, please note that against these creatures, you can still unleash Brain Burst on them and be relatively effective which might be a far better pathway assuming that you don't have other stuff to deal with so one thing which i have done as well in combat is blast bulwark open blast bulwark again get it staggered on the ground and i'm using that opportunity to kill things around it and then when it's alone assuming none of my other teammates have assisted i'll use brain burst to finish it off same goes for the reapers i tend to try and brain burst them at a distance simply because it is far more i would say profitable damage wise your brain burst does about double the damage of your trauma staff so keep that in mind keep that in mind when using this build okay so that brings us to the end of the build showcase i will now do a light combat demonstration it's not going to be as long as the ones in the past it's going to be heavily edited but hopefully it will showcase how the trauma staff is played in actual combat. But for those of you that, you know, want to leave right here, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it has been informative. I hope it helps to showcase some of the trauma staff's capabilities. And for those of you that are keen on trying out this staff, after, especially after the patch, please go ahead and use it. All right. Um, just make sure that you're using it with the right knowledge. Okay. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you can get this video to 200 likes, I'll be very happy. It would show that you like my content. If you want to support me for free, another one of the greatest ways you can do that is just to listen to my music on Spotify. The link is in the description of the video. And every time you play my tracks, not only does it help me tremendously, it actually gets me paid now as well. So thank you if you decide to do that. Last but not least, I want to thank the channel members who make the videos like this possible. Um, they are the ones that have supported my channel for a very long time and have uh, s strongly brought me up. All right. So... Here you go, starting right from the very top at plus ultra, we've got Death Dawning 982. We've got Jerry Fast, Rogue Assassin, Ole Mr. Cream Buff, Zack NFG at Prestige. Thank you guys so much. In terms of our honored robots, we have the following individuals. Uh, che D12, Stefan Geyer, Coffeed, Underpaid Enlisted Soldier, I'm Peeps, Syed Asad Bukhari, Pringo Bread, Tuan Nguyen, Miss Eve, Tyler King, Brian Lancaster, The Oculus, Coda CMF, Kami SMH, Jammer Boy, Conrad C., Nate the Great, Curtis Sussler, MJ, Corey Ryu, Benjamin Savage, Lady Neo, and Greasy Burger. Thank you guys so much for supporting my content. Thank you to all of our cool bots as well. Enjoy the combat showcase. Oh, Jerry. Jerry. Yeah, Jerry is in the north. Yep.
I will happily stick with my southern. In Dublin, thank you. No, no dairy for me. Dairy girls are fun though. Surgeon bird, yeah. But again, you have to coordinate with your team because for damnation, right, the scyther serves a specialist role. That's what you have to understand. When you're running the perk, you want to be running a uh, deflector. All right, in case of gunners, that is to give your veterans precious time that they need. Like if you're in a bad position and you don't have cover, shield up for a second and then uh, give time for your veterans to wipe the floor with the, with the uh, enemies. Deflect. Uh, whatever enemy attacks are being thrown at you. And, and that's just that's just your, your natural obligation. Like I myself, I have a four staff even with this trauma. I'm testing it in Heresy right now, but it does work really well. So oh, like the wait, trauma, the it. trauma has additional range, for example, but it's just not anything like the uh, per. So it's like a mix. I think this may be the this may be the thing that like helps to close the gap for some psychers, but I guess that's why I'm trying. Like what I did was I did a lot of random perk runs earlier with total randos just to get the feeling. Even in clutch situations, the perk build is still like absolutely top tier. It is it is still the the carrying build if you want to carry. As the psyker, if you want to carry, perk is your best friend. But the trauma is now presenting a new option, I guess. In in a way, and I'm I'm kinda happy with that. Heresy, or for heresy, Caleb is the better Harry. Slow. That done. I, I am just so <laughs> mad that it's him. My God. Fucking yeah. Traitor. Like that. That's actually that's like really disgusting. Yeah. It, it's sickening. Yeah, it's sickening that you've been there for all that time. Like, it's like, bro. Like it is. I, you know, I'm starting to think it's really jealousy. Like really. Like you. You've seen my struggle going up, and then you still want to be like that. Yeah. You boy. Jesus, Reinhardt actually saved me from him. How impressive! Yeah, because he's let me die every other time. I was resin our, our brig, and he, put, he actually put shield up. Well, maybe he finally figured out that that's what a shield is for. Right, mm -hmm. protecting his team. Yep. I'm not going to save him from that nonsense now. Happy for you. I'm happy for him, not me. Remember that against this uh, assassination boss, always use melee. Everybody should be in melee against him. Why? Because um, his shield is only weak against melee. So if you take him on at range, you're probably gonna get yourself and your team quickly killed. But you take him on in melee, it's over. Just drop a med pack and then boom. Alright, that was a win. Good. Uh, GGD, pass that type to that GGD.